Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick gaming comparison here between my uh, iPhone 4 uh, versus my iPhone 5 here on the latest iOS uh, 7 beta, uh, which is beta 3, which you can see up here at the top, it goes big, and then when you unlock it, it goes a little bit smaller there at the top, and a bunch of other new updates. Of course, you can know that this is the iPhone 5. So I have downloaded some games, and uh, I have no idea what kind of results we'll be seeing here um, on the, especially not on the iPhone 4, which is like an old phone or three-year-old iPhone. Uh, so uh, let's start off here uh, with Real Racing. So this is the latest Real Racing game. <clears throat> There's also Real Racing 2, in case you didn't know. A pretty popular game in terms of um, racing. You can see here that it loads up way quicker, of course, on this little iPhone 5. Okay, great. Of course, we already do know that most games will run good here on the iPhone 5. Oh no. Let's see here if we can also unlock this little boy. Let's see? So let's start up here on the iPhone 4. So actually it seems like you can run the latest game here. Um, I can feel some, some problems, some small graphical problems, but not super huge. Of course, I can feel that the FPS is not as good as it could have been. But I'm pretty surprised here that it's running pretty decent. Or very good, actually, for an old iPhone. As you can see, no major issues on this single core iPhone. So let's see here. So the FPS could probably be uh, at least uh, over 20 FPS stable, which is extremely nice. I wouldn't be surprised if it's even higher, like 23 FPS stable or something. Or even higher. Now let's check it out here. Also on the iPhone 5, which is having a little bit bigger display. And we can't already do know uh, what kind of performance we can expect here, of course. Because, I mean, it is it is latest iPhone at the moment. And I can definitely feel that the FPS must be at least around 15 FPS more in stable or something. Uh, but we have a new upcoming iPhone coming soon. Um, one bad thing though, that one is that I don't think that we'll be seeing any difference in terms of how big the display is. That's going to be the same kind of as on the iPhone 5 at the moment. So an iPhone 5s with, yeah, I'm pretty sure. We'll see what Apple will come up with. So no problem on the first game here. Let's uh, check out another game. Let's see here also if we can exit out of over here. <sighs> Let's close some things that we do have in the background. 
I don't really think that we have to worry too much here to do that on the iPhone 5, but let's do that anyways. Okay, so now let's try out uh, Infinity Blade, which is another popular game here. See if we can skip. Doesn't seem like that. It's taking some time here to load up this game. I kind of hate games that doesn't have a, a skip intro thing. There we go. So this game should be pretty good in terms of graphics. You should be able to skip a thing down at the bottom. See here if the game, if it's even going to load up on the iPhone 4. So very very long intro over here. So we can see here that the graphics very good, very nice. But then of course it's just a video mode kind of ish. Is because this one loads up quicker. You do realize that now every deathless in the world is going to come hunting you. Okay, let's see. Oops. So I hate reading a lot of text. Attacking the Titan before is to move himself, blah 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 blah. Attacking the Titan before he is broken is all in his grip. Depend defend all of that. Maybe I should need to go all out here. I think I'm going to die. I don't want to read, please. That that's like too much text for me. But okay, so of course, perfect here on the iPhone 5. Let's see here how the same thing reacts on the iPhone 4. I can definitely notice that you can see that the FPS is not as high. And you can see definitely way lower FPS there. Oh 
<laughs> yeah, only three. So, um, you can definitely play the game. Uh, you will see some differences, of course, in terms of FPS, but I'm still very surprised in how good Apple is good at like optimizing the experience. So, it's really not super bad. Uh, let's check out another game. But you can see definitely like when I'm trying to close here out of an app, it can definitely be a little bit slow. Like right now I'm trying to multitask, it's a little bit slow here to reacting. Uh, let's try out um, Asphalt 7. Let's do a quick little play here. So of course, the iPhone 5 no issues here, super smooth. It's really amazing how good they optimize this game uh, compared to the Android experience. You see here also how this game runs uh, on the iPhone 4. You can really see how super smooth the experience is. Uh, I think this is actually the game which has had the most highs and stable uh, frames per second. This is really how good and smooth a game should be on a high-end phone. You really don't get this high FPS in the Android world. So now let's check it out here on the iPhone 4, see how that one stacks up. Okay, so I can definitely notice that this game definitely has some issues here with the with the iPhone 4 single core processor. Definitely there in the beginning, I can feel that the FPS feels some, uh, around like 10 FPS maybe. Really really low FPS. A little bit higher, maybe like 15 FPS when there's not that many cars around. Uh, but comparing that against the, the iPhone 5 probably has triple the experience. It's definitely the game also here with, with the most difference between these two phones. Can you play the game? It's almost unplayable. But you can probably get used to it. And uh, play it. I wouldn't recommend it though. Because you can really really see that you don't get any FPS like higher than 20 FPS or something here on the iPhone 4. And you should probably not expect that. And sometimes you can see that the frames just gets crazy low. Especially when I'm doing the speed here. When I'm racing, 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 racing like a maniac. So that is pretty interesting, let's see here if you can get any boosters. I would say this game is kind of unplayable here. <laughs> because you really need that, at least like, you at least want like 20 FPS when you're playing a game like that. It's pretty cool how, how big of a difference it is here, where here it's really really super crystal smooth and everything in terms of the experience. Uh, versus the iPhone 4, which is really, really having to struggle in this uh, specific game. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can check out another game. Let's just close. 
So let's also now let's check out Modern Combat 4, which is the latest Modern Combat game. Do a the tap here. Let's um, let's go here with the normal mode. I'm just gonna wait in the little. Fella here, let's see, new game. It's gonna let it load here a little bit. Okay, so we kind of do know that this game also will run perfect here. It's really, really intense how good FPS it is here on the iPhone. Uh, compared to even the Android version on high-end Android smartphones doesn't run this smooth. But then of course we do have the problems that I would say that the iPhone still has a midget display. I mean the display is so so tiny. So sometimes when there's a lot of buttons, especially games like this, like combat games, it's pretty hard to... Sometimes you touch the wrong buttons. You, you can probably get used to it. Sometimes you can see that I pick up there the hand grenade just because I accidentally uh, tapped on it because the screen is so small. And the screen is of course even smaller on the... <laughs> oh my god again. Uh, it's even smaller on the iPhone 4. But I can't say anything about the FPS. It's like extremely good. You can't, you can't get better than this, like, it's intense. So now let's also check it out here on the iPhone, on the older iPhone. I can see a play latest, oh my god again. Hand grenade. Definitely the FPS is way lower, but not super bad. It still seems like, let's see here, can I play the game? It's, it's higher than in the Asphalt game. Uh, so it's definitely uh, easier to play. But then of course there's a lot of combat in this game, so that definitely will... Uh, you really need that higher FPS. And for being an old phone, I'm pretty impressed that you can still play game, games like this. But I would say that it's at least twice uh, FPS uh, on the iPhone 5, which is very, very nice. But I'm very, very surprised that the FPS feels very, very good here for an old phone. Sometimes here maybe we can get some bigger frame drops probably uh, But overall very very good experience here uh, Now let's also check out another game Let's uh, check out Needful Speed Most Wanted Which I think is immediately going to jump into a race. Okay. 
So what I like about this game is that uh, very, very smooth on many phones, high end, the low end, the mid end phones, and they still pretty good FPS and experience here. Of course, you shouldn't expect any problems here on the iPhone. Oh no. Here we can use some boosters. So, super smooth experience over here. Let's now check it out here on the iPhone 4. And I can definitely feel that there's a little bit of a difference here in terms of FPS. I did notice some frame drops. But is there going to be a massive difference? Actually, I wouldn't say. Uh, but maybe 30, 30 FPS more, or maybe 40 FPS more stable uh, on the iPhone 5 compared to the iPhone 4. Now I'm just guessing, of course. But uh, you're probably not going to see any major issues. Which is very nice, I would say overall I'm pretty pretty surprised in how good the iPhone 4 still could be as a capable device, especially in terms of uh, gaming. But over here now I did definitely note some big frame drops. And you should probably try to get used to that. I think that one, yes, he did go in into the... Yeah, he did win. I didn't even have to drive. Hopefully he was first, but I don't think so. But many of these small lags that you usually see in games, many of them, you kind of get used to them, and then you don't actually see them. You can definitely though see that the, like when you go exit in and out of apps on the iPhone 4, it is a little bit slow many times. So quickly a video here, uh, so uh, definitely nice here to check it out and probably the biggest difference here was in the asphalt game uh, which was pretty interesting to see uh, but overall still a pretty good experience here on the iPhone on the iPhone 4 from 2010. So just quickly a video, hopefully you did enjoy, if you want to see anything specific please let me know about that and I will see what I can do. Uh, have a good day, peace out. Wait. Real racing. So this is the latest real racing game. <clears throat> There's also Real Racing 2, in case you didn't know. A pretty popular game in terms of um, racing. Some problems, some small graphical problems, but not super huge. Of course, I can feel that the FPS is not as good as it could have been, but I'm pretty surprised here that it's running pretty decent. Or very good actually for an old iPhone. As you can see, no major issues on this single core iPhone. You can see here that it loads up way quicker, of course, on this little iPhone 5.
Okay, great. Of course, we already do know that most games will run good here on the iPhone 5. Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick gaming comparison here between my uh, iPhone 4 uh, versus my iPhone 5 here on the latest iOS uh, 7 beta, uh, which is beta 3, which you can see up here at the top, it goes big, and then when you unlock it, it goes a little bit smaller there at the top, and a bunch of other new updates. Of course, you can know that this is the iPhone 5. So I have downloaded some games, and uh, I have no idea what kind of results we will be seeing here, um, on the especially not on the iPhone 4, which is like an old phone or three-year-old iPhone. Uh, so uh, let's start off here. Uh, oh no! Let's see here if we can also unlock this little boy. Let's see. So let's start off here on the iPhone 4. So actually it seems like you can run the latest game here. Um, I can feel so, so, 